Hello learners, let's solve this question together. This is mathematics and the question you are seeing here is from 2024 grade 9 external examination. Solve the in equation, okay, so this is an in equation, 5x plus 4 less or equal to 2x minus 5. How do you solve in equations? First of all, when we say in equations, we are talking about mathematical statements or mathematical sentences that have got these symbols. Greater than, okay, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. When you see these in a sentence, just know that that is an in equation or inequality. These are inequalities, we call them inequalities. Is that clear? Then mathematical sentences that have got equal sign, we call them equations. Okay, so if there was equal sign here, we could have said solve the equation. Is that clear? Now, how do we solve a such kind of questions? 5x plus 4 less or equal to 2x minus 5. The first thing that you're going to do here is to collect like terms. Those with x must come on the left hand side, those without x must cross on the other side, which is the right hand side. So here I've got 5x. Are you seeing that? Do we have a pair here that has got x? Here. So this 2x is positive on the right hand side. Have you seen? Once it crosses the equal sign, I mean once it crosses the inequality sign, it will change just like it changed when it has when we are dealing with equations. So since it is positive here, once it crosses, it becomes a negative. So this will be negative 2x. Then write the symbol. What are we going to remain with? This side will remain with negative 5. You are not remaining with 5. You are remaining with negative 5. So write that, negative 5, like that. Do we have a pair here? It is here. Positive 4. It crosses. This positive 4 will go on the other side. It will change the sign. So the positive will be minus 4, like that. At this point now, this is the stage we call collection of like terms. Now, like terms, remember, can be added, can be subtracted. So, here we can subtract because these are like terms. 5 minus 2 will give us a 3. Remember the variable? X. So, this is 3X. The inequality, less or equal to. Negative, negative, you are supposed to do what? Add. 5 plus 4 will give us a 9. Always get the sign from the bigger number. 5 is bigger than 4, so it has got a negative. So this will give us negative 9. To remain with x, you're supposed to divide both sides so that you don't change the language. So we have divided by 3, even the other side divide by 3. Cancel this, you remain with x less or equal to, how many 3s are in 9? There are 3. Remember, there's a negative here, negative 3. This is your final answer. So don't forget. Now, there's this principle that I want you to take note. If there was a negative here, when you are dividing or multiplying, when you are dividing like this, or you are multiplying concerning inequalities or inequations, this is the rule. If there was a negative here to say negative 3x, like this, if I've got negative 3x, let's say less 9. I see that. So here I'm going to divide by negative 3, even here by negative 3. Now, as long as you are dividing by a negative, you change the sign. Okay, so now that I'm dividing by negative, I could have said x, this sign will face this side then negative 3. So this could have been the correct answer. If you are dividing by a negative or multiplying by a negative, you change the sign. Is that clear?